Good morning. It's morning for me. Mm. That first sip of coffee just never, never gets old. to Beverly Hills today to get my lip blushing touch-up done. I was supposed to get it done a few weeks ago, but Nadia has a split schedule, which I think I mentioned. She's in New York, Miami, and Los Angeles, so there were some scheduling things that came up. So it's March 2nd today. I got my first one done in late January, I think, and they've been amazing. I really love the color that they've had. Honestly, I if you if you watch the video, then you know I was like super nervous and it went really natural and it looked really beautiful. That color did fade a little bit more quickly because it was so natural that I think if you want it to really look like you got something done for, you know, a long time like it's supposed to last, I would go a little bit darker than you think cuz I was very nervous and I was like I don't want to look crazy, so I went as light as she would go and of course talk to your technician and ask them their advice especially based on your own skin type and skin color but I think today I'm gonna talk to her about possibly going a shade darker to see if it lasts a little bit longer the first night like the first few days you're like oh my god my lips look incredible they're gonna be this colorful like they look like they have lipstick on it's gonna be great and then they do quickly start to look more and more like your lip shade so that being said Go a little darker don't be nervous um and do your research as always i'm no professional but that's just my experience it is a wednesday today and i just decided to pick up the vlog because it's just one of those weeks i have a few fun things i wanted to take you along with we have some good weather today so after my appointment i think i'm gonna go work on the roof i did that yesterday and it was so amazing just to get like a little base tan on my body that hasn't i have no gas just to get like that base tan my body my skin was just like soaking in all of the vitamins it's been a while since I've seen the sun and then tomorrow I'm going to Malibu with Dolce Vita tons of the girls are gonna be there it'll be a really fun overnight stay we're gonna get lunch at Elefante the, before we check into the hotel just for a little girls lunch and it should be a fun time so I will definitely take you along for that I'm so obsessed, you guys. I know I look like a clown, but they're so luscious. I can't even move them because they're still so numb, but we went one shade darker and she did them a little bit bigger on the top. So just do a little slow zoom. Nadia is so good at her attention to detail on the top line and I mentioned it in my last vlog about this but this side of my lip is slightly less curved than this side so she was able to create what I'm lacking in my actual lip color with the blushing so I'm obsessed. She's incredible. She does lashes as well. I think she also does tinting. She's incredible and like the sweetest woman ever and she's in Beverly Hills right across from my parking garage which makes it so easy to visit her and I love her. About to go home now let's see it is two o'clock oh i need gas dang it okay so first of all it's gonna take me at two o'clock 42 minutes to get home not bad i can take one road and have this beautiful thing open favorite part about the car if you guys have never heard of the app okay so like here's the deal oh my gosh if you've never heard of the app gas buddy it will be your new best friend because you just pull up the app and you see what gas stations are around you and which ones are the cheapest um, we're in Beverly Hills where the cheapest is $4.59. Perfect. Yeah, we're just gonna go there. It's 11 minutes away. And I gotta pay my parking. Do all the things. I'm starving. I didn't eat today before I left and the appointment was four hours today because she went in and did a darker color and a touch up. So definitely recommend eating prior to your appointment. But you guys, if you've been contemplating lip blushing, do it. Do it. That runs me of the TikTok sounder. He's like, 
Who's gonna stop you from treating yourself? Me? No, do it. So that's that's my message to you. I also, the podcast that just came on that uh, interrupted our chat is called Focus on This. And I just started it today because I just got the planner that they sell. It's so interesting because they have an entire podcast dedicated to being organized and being productive. And I find that I wake up and go to sleep with the best intentions for the day. Like I'll make this entire to-do list and I will like be on it and be so excited. And then the day will start and I'll do my morning routine that I love. And then when it comes time to work, I get not like completely thrown off cause I do love being productive and I thrive with organization practices but my motivation just dwindles and this podcast was saying how like it's like totally life-changing after they did this whole practice and methodology with this planner so i'm very excited to do i sound like a speed racer in here with all these cars i'm very excited to learn more about it so i will update you i'm also going to show you the planner i did a little walkthrough with the planner on pinterest if you follow me there i made an idea pin on it because i hate buying planners without knowing what i'm getting i hate when i can't see the entire layout because i'm a very specific planner person and I swear one day I'm gonna make my own because until I found this one that I just bought I hated so many planners that I would always try and make work they just never worked so I will walk you through it and let you know what I learned but the podcast so far is really good but this red light is killing me I have to turn this off now I feel like everyone thinks that I'm like COVID scared at this gas station this open air outside gas station with my mask but it's really just because I look crazy no one's probably thinking about it but I'm thinking about it because no one's in masks except for me quick rundown of the full focus planner. It's designed to be used quarterly. You have some instructions. The beginning of it is all of your planning. So you've got a bunch of goals Then you get to the calendar section where you have three months overview. And then you've got your rolling quarters section. Then your daily rituals where you outline your morning ritual, your workday startup ritual, shutdown ritual, and evening ritual. And you've got your ideal week, day and time schedule, key projects that you're working on, weekly big three, which is what they focus on in the daily section. So this is where your big three go. This is where you put everything else. To be honest, I haven't learned what these numbers mean yet, but you've got where you write the date in, your rituals, notes that you can take throughout the day. And that just goes each week. You've also got full sections for Saturday and Sunday. And then this is the weekly preview, which I actually haven't done one of these yet because I just finished out my second week in this journal. So you just go over what the week was like and what you would like for the week to come. So this will be your week at a glance and just how you see it going. And it's really cool. It's a nice size. There's this little envelope in the back, all of our information, We've got an index, more notes in the back, like lots of notes sections. So it's nice to have that. And then you've also got your quarterly preview for your next journal. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I definitely am loving it so far and will most likely reorder it. <laughs> Hello, 
We are back from our workout and I'm just about to make some coffee. A little lip update. So I'm keeping them lathered with Aquaphor. I feel like they feel better this round than the first round. Like the first round, I feel like I woke up and they were so dry, but I also didn't have Aquaphor and I feel like because it's basically tattooing your lip, Aquaphor is essential, not just like a chapstick. So key learning experience, if you get it done, definitely have Aquaphor on hand. I am obsessed with the shape that Nadia gave me. She went a little bit bigger. I'm just so excited. I think they look really beautiful and I'm excited to see how they fade. This morning, it's Thursday and I have an event with Dolce Vita tonight at the Surf Rider Hotel in Malibu, which is so cute. It's just a bunch of us girls. I don't even really know who's all going, like Kelsey, Michelle, Blake, Allison, Jess, and Michaela's going. It's gonna be a fun girls night and I'm excited to see who else is there. It's 10 o'clock. I just finished my workout, like I mentioned. I got a request for like workout routine video and to be totally honest, I'm still using and loving the Madeline Moves app that I downloaded in quarantine. So it's been like almost two full years, right? What is time? Of using it and I have never seen better results in a workout. I used to like go to the gym and not know what to do and I never used to segment my workout days into body parts. I used to just do like full body or just legs and looking back like I was fit but not strong and I was just inefficient in the gym and I would do like cardio every day and like I just was all over the place and it didn't work for me necessarily. Like I was thin but I again wasn't strong. So the Madeline Moves app has just completely redefined how I viewed the gym. I go in and every day is a different body part and she puts cardio in there sometimes and it's really great. It's also really great to use in conjunction with counting your macros, which I did a whole blog post on with my best friend Allison who is a macro coach and doing that in conjunction with the app truly like I look back on videos of during that time and I'm I think to myself like oh my god I'm so defined and like thin and defined so I know it works counting macros definitely takes a little bit more time just because you're measuring everything out in the beginning when you're still learning how to do it but I have never ever had a better outcome than when I was counting my macros and consistently working out every day with the Madeline Moves app so if you're looking for a new routine I highly recommend trying that out I also love the Pilates class app which I talk about pretty often it's like my, my favorite evening routine in the apartment like if I want to chill workout that's also going to give me results it's absolutely the Pilates class and then I've started doing the Peloton app on the bikes in our gym upstairs and I got cycling shoes for Christmas so those are my three go-to's and they work really well for me I also love class pass I've been a member of class pass since like 2016 when it came out and I still I will always have that membership because you can work out anywhere that you go that's participating like I can work out in New York I can work out in Minnesota whenever we're traveling I know that I can find a class nearby if there isn't a gym accessible so it's really great so those are my go-to's and I love them now I'm gonna make myself a coffee it is 10 o'clock and I keep trying to go over my schedule and getting derailed but it's 10 I'm gonna make a coffee do a quick body shower my hair is clean from last night but I need to style it because it dried curly overnight and I'm gonna do a TikTok. hopefully getting some feedback from you guys on what I should wear to my event tonight I I think I have three different dress ideas and then I'm gonna pack and hopefully do some Poshmark. I have so much Poshmark. I, I was doing so well and I was staying on track and then I just continuously get the urge to purge urge to purge my closet as I'm refining my style and like changing my mind every day because I feel like I go back and forth between being like I want to be a minimalist and only wear these really key, like amazing key high-end pieces that will be classic and last in my wardrobe for decades but then I really do get swept up in the urge to style the latest trends for Instagram I think that's not an excuse because I follow some really incredible women that are capsule minimalist wardrobe women that are also extremely successful on Instagram. That's not at all an excuse, but that's just something I personally struggle with. It's sticking to minimal minimalism one day and then going to Zara and like buying the new trends the next day. So I'm trying really hard to get back to absolutely only spending on items I know will be in my closet for a long time. And in that process, I am posh marking away. So I have a ginormous pile again. It always happens that way. Just a few things tidying up, got a pack for my evening and then heading out to lunch at LA. Fonte with the gals before we go to our evening in Malibu. So I'm gonna take you 
along. I know I say that all the time. You got to see a really good preview into my morning this morning. My typical morning includes chlorophyll water, athletic greens, coffee is way later. I love to write in my journal. I just got this new planner I told you guys about, so I'm starting that in my morning routine. There's also something in there called a workday startup ritual and a workday closing ritual. And I have never heard of that concept. And I love the idea of that because I'm such a systems person and I am obsessed with the routine. So I'm gonna do more research on that and see like what my start and stop work ritual can be because my morning ritual is not work related, but that's the only way I start my morning. So I'm excited to try to like dive into something that will get me in the mindset of working and then also learn how to shut off better. So we'll report back when I figure out what that looks like. Hey Google, play Discover Weekly on Spotify. Got it, playing the Spotify playlist on Discover Weekly. that's drying I know it's not gonna get on any of my clothes I'm gonna make a quick breakfast scramble then we're gonna get ready do a TikTok pack Poshmark and we will be on our way to lunch mm -hmm. here is the finished result we've got a scramble with spinach onions tomato, two chicken breakfast sausages from Trader Joe's, and then some sourdough toast with avocado and cucumber. And my secret ingredient is always white truffle salt. And then I did some everything but the bagel on top. And then the secret sauce is this incredible black truffle infused hot sauce. If you haven't tried this brand yet, you absolutely need to. It's a game changer. Doing random little home renovations and one of them is creating more space utilizing the wall space and we're hanging two floating shelves right here that I think we're going to transfer some glassware over to because our bar cart is a little crazy we also did this last night I took all of these boxes it was like craziness and just compiled them into three it looks so much cleaner and I can't believe I didn't do that months ago but I think it'll look Cool. I feel like it'll look like an extension, like it was meant to be there. Let's hope it works. Friends, Hi. friends, so many, look at these beautiful friends. Everyone, Hi. the lighting right now and everyone's face is like really, really, really good. Like, <laughs> tell me what you do. Tell me what you do for a living. Tell us what you do for a living. Pretty sure the last one's here. No, I think I think we're really. I think so. It's fine. It's good. Mom. It's great. Super cute though. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Late. Get there when they get there. Just kidding. <gasps> so cute. Wow. Wow. 
cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. Just some Dolce Vita. So cute. Woman. Wow, cute. Hi. Say hi. Cutie. Oh, it's a little bit sunny. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, you are cute. Those are cute. You look like a model. <laughs> Good luck. This is the most stunning part of the Surfrider. Their library. So cute. I want this in my house. <laughs> you 
You're too cute. This is I'm, not a cute I'm moment. Commenting on your, I'm oh my god. Right now. Say something nice because people on TikTok are hating so on me. <laughs> what? So good. So good. So we love a supportive bestie. Look at her. Look at her. Taking my time to comment on my bestie's Instagram. <laughs> I mean, how did I get so lucky? Oh. <laughs> I'm sure if that was good, but you know. <laughs> wait, wait, the Blake is coming out. The Blake is out to play. Where's John? Where's James? You're done. You're done. What did you post? Fucking Taco Bell? <laughs> That's exactly, We're ready. This That's is, this exactly is, is, what we I want. What we want. This is the fucking fuck. Whose <gasps> room are we going to? I'm not waiting. So Mine's right here. Mine's right there. All right, go. 11. Come on. I'm 10. Yes. 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 Jessica? My girl's a bottle of wine. Oh. There's nothing like wine. Wait, there's 17 so bags. Mega brushes <laughs> in Taco Bell. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I was about to text you. <laughs> Taco Bell has arrived. <laughs> Look at how excited we get over Taco Bell. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. What? We are happy. Yeah. We are happy. This is, Wait, yeah, and then I also have that? a I have a bean burrito. Yeah, okay. yeah, we're gonna find that. What do you want we're first? Find it. Um, no, it's fine. I literally don't know. Okay, recap. Bl uh, Blake has never had Taco Bell. Bean burrito. Till right now. Are there sauces? No. Hot sauce. Yeah, there is. Mild sauce. Wait, what kind of sauces would you like? Would you like? Hot or mild? No, there's sauce Probably on hot. the quesadilla. You don't need that. They all have oh, cute. I don't know. Is there sauce on the quesadilla already? Yeah, they all have cute messages on them. Hmm. Like all together? The same? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure okay with it. <laughs> okay, so oh, we're gonna, first of all. Brian says they're not always cute, but. Like, you need a raw dog it? Like, yeah, raw dog it. Okay. okay. You know? In its authentic form. Mine says just current mood blank. What do we think? What do we think? I don't really try the burrito. Not a vegan taco. Try the burrito. I'm not getting any excitement from your end. What? Um, Their are that good, to be honest. I've never really had a quesadilla. You should try the burrito. You should try the burrito. Try the burrito. Yeah. Try the burrito. Try the burrito. Try the burrito. 
quesadillas aren't that impressive, to be honest. Okay. They're, they're like, fine. They're fine. The burritos are definitely, I like... I didn't know what to get. I was the never, burrito's like, a good call. It is. Take a bite. It, <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but I swear it'll change your life. It's essentially yeah. cafeteria food wrapped yeah. into a, a tortilla. Yeah, first of all, to say it's gonna change your life is like a low size. Yeah, right? It's a cafeteria. No, it's like this trench ball. Good. No. You know, did you ever see Matilda? Mm-hmm. You know this trunch ball? Mm-hmm. You it's like it? It's normal. Yeah, it's it normal. Read you. Normal. It's normal cafeteria. Food. Okay, so you're not drunk enough, is what you're saying. All right, well. So- Anticlimactic, but I'm glad that we can do this together. Oh yeah, let's try some sauce. One last chance. Okay. All right. Well, let me try some sauce on it. She's putting some sauce. Some. She put a lot. Oh. Too much sauce. Get it. Get it. She's like deep throating the burrito. Deep throating the burrito. Now, what do you think? She's like, I made it worse. Now that it was in the back of your mouth, how do you feel about it? She's like, it better deep throated. She liked it better when it was deep throated. With the condiments. With the condiments. Okay, I mean, I'm glad. I'm really glad we could experience this with you, regardless. I'm a condiment girl through and through. Like, half our fridge is a condiment girl, so. Yeah. Or the con. It's condom. Everywhere it is your condom. Yeah. Well. Wait, oh! Okay, wait, one more thing you have to try. Look at cinnamon twists. These are an iconic. I almost said Trader Joe's. Taco Bell. Staple. They don't have any sauce to go. No sauce. No sauce. Put it in your mouth. Sis. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Oh, it's definitely way different. I was like, for real. Like, so you don't like it? Like, like, catch, like, catch. What is that? Oh, ready? this, this ready? is sticky. Ready? Ready? This is. I'm absolutely ready. I'm ready. This. I did not know. I did not expect that to come out of that. It's so much better than whatever. It's stuffed. Did you know it's stuffed? That is so good. No. Honestly, it feels like cream cheese is inside of this. Yeah. It's frosting. Yeah, I ordered dessert and I was like, oh. I love it. I'm gonna get blocked for this on YouTube. You're gonna get blocked. Doing? That's offensive. What's happening? Uh, Jess is like, I'm out, bye. <laughs> Love you so much. Don't rub your freaking cream cheese boots on me! <laughs> 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 Bitch, you are not the one who told me to do that. There's so much oh, happening. Let me get out of the way for you. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Six million. No, six hundred. We're done. You're 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 done. You're
so I slept in a bit. I just kept thinking about like the footage that I got last night and who's to say what's gonna make it in the vlog, but it was quite hilarious. It's never a dull time when we get together for girls' nights, but it was a really fun night and I woke up feeling great because I am still on my like not that much alcohol kick. So I feel amazing. My voice is definitely scratchy because I'm I'm the type. I never got in trouble in school. But when I did, it was for talking too loud. And I've carried that over to a, into adulthood where I get to this level where I am screaming everything that I say. Like I cannot just speak at a normal level. I'm like either not speaking or I'm screaming. So my voice is a bit scratchy from that. My lips are very dry. Lip blushing is still like not as insane as it was last time, but you can see it's starting to fade right here. And the chapping is like okay, not super bad, but I've been keeping them hydrated with this summer fridays balm that i found in my beauty closet and oh my gosh you guys it is so good it's called the lip butter balm and the applicator is like shaped to your lip it is so amazing i don't know if i can get this to focus but i really want to show you i can't show you but the applicator is very cool like perfectly cups your lips and just makes them feel amazing but I am going to order room service. We were supposed to eat breakfast on the roof, but it, it rained overnight, so it's a little wet up there. And look how cute this is. Dolce Vita made a little newspaper with our breakfast menu in it. It's so cute. It has like all the pictures of their new arrivals. Me and Kelsey made it from our little Valentine's shoot. So cute. Wow, this is like the cutest mood board. I want to go to Italy. Oh, so cute. I have not seen these shoes. Okay. Let's see what breakfast we have. I already know there's a breakfast burrito on the menu, which is a weakness of mine. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do the breakfast burrito. How could I not with chorizo? Sounds stunning. And an Americano, ice Americano with honey and almond milk. How do I order room service? Hey, am I able to order a room service with you? Okay, perfect, thank you. So they're not doing room service. TBD. out of the house at 3 p.m. and it's pouring rain I think just over downtown Los Angeles because south of us it's blue skies. We're heading to San Diego to see some friends that are in town from Long Island, New York. We had a really slow start to the morning because I woke up with a migraine. Lovely. We did. We had a slow start. Yeah you got a workout in. You were up early. I don't even know when you got up. We were up very late though binge watching Love is Blind until 2 a.m. so almost, got to the finish. almost made it and then couldn't do it anymore but it's a good season. Highly recommend it. It's a rainy March day. Every year for my birthday as a kid, I would pray for weeks right. in advance for sunshine because I always wanted an outside birthday party and most of the time it rained. So it was pretty on par for the course for birthday weekend, birthday week. I like your fit. Hey, thanks. Got some white bands, some rolled up jeans, two layers going on. Yeah, it's cold. A busy sweatshirt. I got my raincoat. We always forget our umbrellas, which we were so proud to buy after we were in Italy, and we haven't used them once in Los Angeles. Because we always forget them. We just stopped randomly in Santa Ana to grab a coffee. Stopped at a really cute coffee shop called Hopper and Burr. Hopper and Burr. It was but good. More importantly, there was a cowboy shop across the street. Stagecoach, here we come. We the boys, two we stepping. Where we were like, let's just go in and see what they have. And we found the best stuff. Oh, yeah, I've got we my new display hat. It. We've got his hat, and I gotta take my things off. I've been dying for a blue hat, and look at what they had. Wow. Wow, it's so cute. Good call. New hats, who dis? Hand hug. Oh, hand hug. Butt tub. Butt tub. <laughs> so cute. We are stagecoach ready. Yeehaw! What Anaka was it even called? coming in strong. No idea. I don't even know. El Vaquero. El Vaquero. 
I think it says for the men that like to dress well. El hombre. Para el hombre que le gusta el buen vestir. I'm pretty sure that says like for the gentleman that likes to dress well. That's me. They had a bunch of good shirts in there. Got a good oh, button yeah. down. You get they the had jeans. They have you Levi's. Get the sneak preview if you're watching the vlog. I gotta go back because no, it was a huge, huge store full of cowboy gear, and this is his one of his looks. Tim Collective. Coming at you. And it has blue detail in it, so it'll match with my hat. You know we love matching. Love matching. Yeah, buttons too. They're buttons. Like, they're buttons. Yeah, it has it has buttons. Like steel okay. buttons. These are yeah, they're they're fancy buttons. They're fancy. We're ready. Boys will be fitted. We got theme days. One was a cowboy day, so that was just perfect. The girls do not have themes. Our theme is like glam cowgirl, actually. Like I'm wearing sequins, not sequins. I'm wearing um, diamonds. I got a bra that has diamonds hanging from it. That's amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> what? Stop. Uh, what a stop. Is that what, partner? Are we a Bottega cowgirl? <laughs> Okay, so here is how the shelf turned out. I'd still like to put the second one above it. I want to kind of measure what we actually want to keep on this shelf. This was just kind of like a vis visualization idea to get the bar cart a little bit more emptied out. Other thing we did, we're still waiting on our bed. I, I'm like really losing hope on this because we were supposed to get it last week and he won't respond to us. This is something else we just put in for our shoes. It didn't really solve like a ton of our problems, but I was able to put like all my workout shoes in here and it's not really, I mean, it was cheap, but it's nice to have that. Brennan's not so much because it can only fit like two pairs of shoes. But we've got that going and then we then we got this little thing that everyone uses for their sunglasses, but I'm not really sure where I want to put that yet. We have a lot of beautiful wall space and in a perfect world, when we get our bed frame, all of this will go away because it's going to have drawers in it. And I would really like to eliminate this in the corner. This was a solution for bags and it's working, but I would love to get these boxes in our front closet for Brennan and then put my bags up there as storage space and then just get this out of here and ideally have like the most minimal amount of things in here as possible. None of nothing in this room Room has been fully done like even this blanket is not staying like it still feels so temporary and i mean yeah we're really hoping we get our freaking bed so tbd on that but that's everything so excited i'm going to try zoe church which is a church right near my house and i've been wanting to try it since we moved in and just haven't i feel like i haven't been around on a sunday morning and so i'm meeting up with pia and we're gonna go to church and then we're going down to Newport to meet up with my family to have a little lunch for my birthday. So it's gonna be a great Sunday. And I'm outfit repeating because I was late and couldn't make of an outfit. Birthday brunch for a birthday month. Oh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> so excited, She's so excited. Who won the bet? That's what it's called when we're going out. Chef.